Hey everyone. So I wanted to explain a problem that we've all had in our testing and that's getting voltage across the cells. Now here you see I've got a VIC, the chokes aren't connected, I'm only testing my primary and secondary coils. And these values are nearly identical to stands, resistance and inductance. And then my load here is a 220 ohm resistor. If you look at my waveform, I'm putting in a measured 7.8 volt pulses to the primary coil. And this is the load resistor, the 220 ohm load resistor. You can see first off it's an LR curve, uh, which actually is what the gate frequency is tuned into. We'll get into that in another video. But with 7.8 volts, I should be getting 52 volts across my load. As you can see, I'm only getting 2 volts. Why is that? If you look at Stan's VIC design, in order to get the right values of inductance and resistance in any core, the only way to do it is by gapping the core. Stan had to do the same thing. Initially, I thought that was a design flaw, but then after doing more research, I realized it was designed that way on purpose. But when you introduce a gap into the core, now you have a problem. That problem is leakage inductance, which gives you a very poor voltage regulation. What does that mean? I mean, just what I showed with the 220 ohm load, you only get about 2 volts across the load. It actually takes a 1 million ohm or higher load to get near the 52 volts that I should be seeing across it. A lot of people would say, well, dude, you don't have your chokes connected. Those chokes are impedances. According to Stan Meyer, in his tech, uh, technical brief, the L1 choke is actually in resonance with the cell, so that impedance is canceled out. The L2 choke at 10 kilohertz only gives you 71,000 ohms, and then the coil resistance is about 220 ohms. Nowhere near the 1 mega ohm load resistance we need to even start seeing voltage across that load, across that water. So, if you've seen my glass plate uh, video where I had the two pairs of electrodes, they're identical in size except one pair is cut so it's half the length of the other. And what I showed in that video when I put water between them and measured the resistance, Reducing surface area while maintaining the same gap increases the resistance between the electrodes. So one thing that Ronnie Walker told me, and I have to give him credit for this, and I didn't understand really what he meant at first. He said you have to have current flowing through the cell first. It's never going to work unless you get current flowing first. What I realized after looking into all this, what is occurring is when you start flowing current through this cell, yeah, you're getting really low voltage, but you start producing between the electrodes basic electrolysis. And what do we often see in basic electrolysis? The gas bubbles stick to the electrodes. Some of them are released. Most of them stick to the electrodes. And what does that do? Reduces the surface area of the electrodes which essentially gives us a higher resistance between the electrodes or a higher load impedance. Once we start seeing that our voltage will start increasing. It's the only way we can even start seeing the voltage increase but once it starts increasing then we tune into resonance and we find the kilovolt range. That's when we see the other phenomena occurring that I'll talk about later on that I've, uh, I don't know how much I want to say, I've produced on a small scale uh, under different conditions you know, without a VIC. And um, it really proves out a lot. That's all I'll say, but far as getting the actual cells to work that's still a problem it's very difficult like I said like I'm showing here you have to get this first you have to get current flowing first you have to tune it and 
the duty cycle and the frequencies so that you're getting a high current flow at first. Produce the bubbles on the electrodes. That'll give you a high enough impedance to start seeing voltage across the load. Then you tune into resonance to get kilovolt range uh, voltages. From there, well, two phenomena occur, begin to occur from there. And we'll get into those later. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.